We have arrived in Kremlin, Colorado. We are at the Allington Inn and it is snowing like crazy right now. These are the first signs of winter we have seen in a minute, that's for sure. And they're calling for some huge numbers down here potentially. So we're excited to get a taste of that Colorado champagne pow for sure. If you guys just saw, we we're up in Oregon and uh, now we're down here in Colorado, as we mentioned. So we're continuing our coast to coast tour back east now and excited to check out a few spots down here along the way. Kremlin went ahead and hooked us up with a gift basket full of goodies from all the local businesses here. So we're gonna be checking out the town and a couple other spots in Grand County. We're gonna do a deep dive on this area in one of our fall episodes. So keep an eye out for that in fall of 2024. First predictions for how this 600 146 is going to do at 10,000. I think I'm going to poach a lot of tracks, but I'm going to have fun doing it. <laughs> So we're getting ready for day one, linking up with our buddy AJ from the Midwest. We just saw him up there in the lot. It's gonna be super cool to ride with him. He's been following us for a long time and I've actually got out fishing with him a few times before. He is a muskie guide back in Minnesota. So he really lives the dream, chasing muskies all summer. And then he's out here in the winter riding sleds too. So stoked to finally link up and ride with AJ and uh, have an awesome day out here on the snow. <laughs> Check up here at 10,000 feet. Ooh, 210 centimeters. Yeah. That's some of the most we've seen all year. Yeah. I mean, Oregon might have had that much. Yeah. But uh, we were riding in the rain there, and now we're riding in the fluff. So this is a, this, these are some welcomed conditions. That is more than one chase tall by a good amount. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Dude, there's no in run to that. I was like underneath a tree, wrong foot forward. Couldn't even see it. 
And I just said, okay, hit the gas and go. Get as close to the tree as you can without hitting it. And it worked perfect. <laughs> Well, day one of riding in Colorado is in the books. It really hasn't stopped snowing the entire time we've been here, which is awesome. The rest of the trip should be pretty sweet. I want to give a big shout out to AJ for uh, meeting up with us today and showing us around a little bit. It's been a while since we've been here in Rabbit Ears, so it's been really cool to check out some new areas up here. AJ, how many muskies did you catch this summer? Oh, 300 and something. <laughs> Go follow Living Legends Fishing on Instagram. He's posting up all kinds of cool content all summer long. We're gonna head her back down to Kremlin for the night and uh, maybe be back up here tomorrow. Well, we finally found a spot to park. I guess it's busy down here in Colorado on the weekends. Every single parking lot was like jammed with trucks that were either stuck or just wasn't a place to park the rig. So we found a spot here a little bit further down the mountain finally. And we got blue skies today. Meeting up with some Eagle River homies. Got Chase with us here on this trip as well, of course. And uh, it's gonna be sick. I'm really looking forward to today. Our friend Kim Onash is joining us as well. Kim's been in some of the Boondockers films and Thunderstruck. Films. And the last time we rode with Kim, we were actually here in Colorado at yeah. Thunderstruck Adventures. Check that video out. They've got a 10,000 acre private mountain at their operation. Pretty cool video that we filmed there. But pretty stoked to get out and ride with these guys. It's been years. Like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty wild. Let's get dressed and get up there and get after it. shoot up there, side hill in, and then drop that rightmost knob. Yeah, at an angle. Yeah, that's a good spot. Out towards that other cliff.
shouldn't have lost that edge. My GPS. Oh no. Yeah. Fuck. It came off on the landing of that jump. Uh, it's like a needle in a haystack. <laughs> no way! Yes! <laughs> yes! That is amazing! So while we're on the topic of GPSs, I want to pause the story today to talk about navigation in the mountains and the maps that we use when we go into a new area like this. A couple of the questions we get most commonly are how do you know where you're going when you're out in the mountains? And when you roll into a new area like this, how do you figure out where to go ride? For us, the answer is simple, and it's Onyx Off-Road, and we want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. We think we found the ultimate setup here, being able to run Onyx Off-Road right on the dash of our sleds. We can use Route Builder to create routes both on trail and off to plan before we head out for the day. We can download offline maps that are on there so when we're out in the hills without cell service, we know exactly where we're going. And there's a record and track feature to breadcrumb your trail so you can easily find your way out if the weather gets weird or you get lost. There's all kinds of features in snow mode specifically like slope aspect and slope angle that help you find the best terrain. And you can overlay the avalanche forecast to better understand the forecast region and where those dangers are present. If you want to check out where we've ridden in this video, Go to the link in the description. We've put a folder down there that has waypoints, both where we parked for the day and where we headed to. You can check out these waypoints and build a route through the Onyx Off-Road app and go ride all the stuff that you're seeing in this video. We're having a blast here in Colorado. This terrain is sick and we want you guys to enjoy it too. So thank you, Onyx. Now let's get back to the story. What an awesome day of snowmobiling, you guys. Thank yeah, you so twice. much for showing us around. Yeah. You're welcome. It's been, uh, cool. it's been a lot of years since we've ridden together. Yeah. I'd Definitely. say we've gotten a little bit better at snowmobiling than the last time. Well, thanks for an awesome day of snowmobiling, yeah, you guys. Yeah, still a great ride. We appreciate it. See you at the uh, yeah. juice shop.
just rolled in for our next stop on our tour through Colorado. As you can see behind us, we are in Granby. Pretty cool to see this place for the first time and all the mountains around. We got a sick ride lined up for today too. We're heading out with a few locals, Tucker Mertz, Landon, and Aaron, uh, who are gonna be showing us around. And we're gonna be kind of riding all the stuff between here and Grand Lake, which is our next stop on the tour. Now, there's a huge fire that came through this area uh, a few years ago, and it took down a lot of forest. So we're gonna be riding through a lot of that. And uh, what better conditions could we ask for? Fresh snow and blue skies. So let's get up there. <laughs> Ascended to like 11,500 feet. I think this is the highest in elevation we've been yet in Colorado. Pretty wind scoured up here, but the burn is holding snow really well. So we've been having a good time just ripping up through the burn. It's pretty warm and sunny. We've seen all kinds of weather conditions while we've been out here from like all out winter, 10 degrees, snowing like crazy, to blue sky. Can pretty much be out here in a t shirt. So the snow is definitely changing. Uh, under us and we're keeping an eye on the Abbey conditions you know rapid warming can really increase the load on the snowpack and cause some dangerous avalanche conditions so we're being mindful of that and man it is just crazy as we look out from the top of Little Gravel Mountain here at how much land actually burned around here like I forget the I don't know the actual numbers but it's hundreds of thousands of acres I believe it man just can't see any green trees for miles around here from up here beyond the burn, you can see kind of back where we're staying at the end of Lake Granby, back in that canyon is Arapaho Valley Ranch. And man, that place has been so sweet. So we're gonna head back there tonight. They've actually got the smallest bar in the state of Colorado, and a pool table. So we're gonna fire that up a little bit and uh, spend our last night at Arapaho Valley Ranch. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Our first stop here in Grand Lake is Wolfie's. This is a family owned restaurant and actually some Wisconsin folks that moved out here a few years ago opened this place up. Looks over Grand Lake, it's absolutely beautiful here and it's located right on the snowmobile trail. And actually right at the entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park too. So definitely no shortage of views right from the restaurant here. Great people inside and muff pot meals to go. So. Uh, we're pretty stoked to check out Grand Lake for our first time. We're gonna meet up with Nick at On The Trail Rentals and see his operation a little bit and then get up on the mountain and uh, enjoy this beautiful day. Dude, yeah, we've got tamales. Oh. This is hot ham and cheese, Wisconsin cheddar. And I think all the prime rib is gone. Oh, oh here's one. Prime. prime rib rolls. The Swiss. Nice. Oh, you. That's what I'm going for right now. Try one of these. Well, that does it for our trip to Colorado. There's never enough time. I wish we could have stayed down there for a couple more weeks, honestly. It was cool to link up with our friends from back home that we haven't ridden with in years and then get to meet new friends in the Granby and Grand Lake area. Seeing the aftermath of the East Troublesome Fire and hearing their stories about the community coming together is just absolutely insane. I can't imagine what it was like there. It's really made the riding there uh, unique and cool and accessible in different ways than it ever has been. So we're stoked to be able to experience that. We're also super tired from being on the road from, for a very long time. So we're excited to get back to Idaho and then we are off to Wisconsin and traveling even further east than that uh, for our coast to coast tour. Our original plan was to leave here from Colorado and drive back, bring the sleds and everything. Unfortunately, it's a sad sight for winter in the Midwest, as many of you may know. There isn't even snow on the trails in Land Lakes, my hometown. I've never really seen the trails not open past the new year. So this is crazy, this is unprecedented. We're still coming back, we've got an event going on at Bent's camp. Um, the radar run is canceled, but we're still gonna be there hanging out, selling merch and supporting the local club. Then we're flying out to Maine, like Dylan said, to go visit the Backwoods boys from Wisconsin. Once we get back from Maine, we'll be heading back west for the rest of the winter. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming adventures, and we'll see you in next week's video.